In Season 3, Episode 10 of The Bad Batch, we had Dr. Hemlock explain pretty much everything in a matter of minutes. We theorized on this channel that Omega wasn't force sensitive and instead had the ability to transfer M counts from subject to clone without degradation. And that appears to be 100% true thanks to this clip. As you know, M count cannot be directly replicated from the source. However, Nala Se knew of another way, which is why she aided in Omega's escape. The young clone's blood is the only binder that's proven to be compatible with their DNA to recreate their M count levels. This doesn't stop Omega from being connected to the Force in some way, however. We saw in Ahsoka that really anyone has the capabilities with enough training. The thing is, we don't really know if Hemlock is going to fail in the Bad Batch. In The Mandalorian, Gideon was looking for a high M count subject, not particularly a subject that can transfer M counts fully. So we never really know if the Empire was successful in solving that problem or not. Regardless, this spreads a lot of light on why Omega is important, but how she will evade the Empire for good is another question yet to be answered, most likely in the finale. For more Star Wars shorts, check out this one appearing on the end screen now.